inhabit space according to the science of time and space called history. In a, an ecosystem is a system made of interdependent elements the, whose symbiosis has the potential to sustain life. An ecosexual truth worth creating is that love is the ecology of life. And the practice of ecosexual love is a practice that reaches beyond gender, sexual fluidity, numbers, amorous inclusiveness, orientations, also sexual fluidity, ages, ranges, races, origins, species, and biological realms to embrace all of life as a partner with important and enduring rights. Devitalized ecosystems do not support healthy practices of love, but love survives as love for love, or erotophilia. Compare it, it can be compared to a virus, which is a code for an organism that saves its DNA for a better day. In these two films, the container for this code, I would say for Night Porter, it would be Max, and for The Conformist, it would be Anna, but that's more of a speculation. So here, here are my words of wisdom uh, on love. Does erotophilia in cinema help design a cure for a species that becomes self-destructive? Does it exercise fascism in all its manifestations, as per Cavani and Bertolucci's wish? Does it manufacture the love necessary to clear ecosystems of clear toxicity? I'm not sure. <laughs> but from their auteur cinema, we can learn that in the absence of a space where love can be practiced freely, the presence of love for love is visible in the awareness of those who are willing to overcome fear. Thanks.